Gamers, how's it going? This is Rush Code, and welcome back to another devlog. This time, I've actually finished the puzzle game, finally. And today I'll give you guys a bit of a tour, but I won't be showing you everything just because uh, there are some secrets and hidden stuff and all this. So if you guys want to know what it is, link's down in the description. You can check out the game for yourself, download it, give it a play and even leave a comment if you get to the end or the true ending. So you would start off with this door that you need to get through and the instructions are down here so you can jump across it, you can try and jump across if you want and it doesn't really reach. There's a little red bar there showing that it's um, still locked. So push the switches to open doors, listen for sound cues and find a way to jump across. So as you can see there's a couple of switches here. If I step on this one over here it's a little sound and then you can tell that the door on the left has opened. So I had to put in a lot of sound cues, but yeah, so this is one of the, this is the left wing, fully complete with colors and everything. And as you can see, there's a little hidden door here. So if you just make your way all the way to the top and hit that switch, it'll unlock that door. So coming back to the main wing, there's a few other doors here you can access. This one's just for opening to get to the main area over here. So you can try jumping out again if you want. And then on the right side, there is the uh, right wing or the green wing. And there's three buttons that you can press to open one of these doors. So of course, for example, if I push this middle one, that seems to have opened something on the left. Let's see. Well, there you go. So that door opens. It doesn't open the other ones. And yeah, you can just go through, have a click. And that looks like it's opened something on that side. So if I go in here, yeah. So as you can see, not all the doors are connected to the switches back there. It's a bit of a puzzle. You just have to work out how it goes until you can get to this door over here. Once you can get through this door, then there should be a way to actually jump across from here. So the, basically there's a few things you have to unlock on both wings so that you can combine the efforts to jump across. And once you're out there, then you've pretty much reached the end. So with the door blueprints, they're pretty standard. You've got everything as usual, playing sound, sliding open, close and all this stuff. But then some of the other doors have a few other things going on, like for example, there's a text mechanism here that I use to actually create the coloring up here. So once you hit the right button, this red bar will turn green. So it's a very cheeky way of me doing it, but uh, I didn't know how to do actual light changing or whatever here. So I just figured I'd use text coloring. But I have to say the switches were especially tricky to try and get working just right. So I realized that if I wanted to only click the button once, there's actually this function called do once that ensures it only happens once. And you do all the usual stuff. Now you can play sounds before the timeline if you want, and that's a good idea because if you do it after the timeline, it sort of repeats itself a bit strangely. And I did end up doing it over here as well, playing another sound for the door. But what I did was create a delay so that the timeline can finish pushing the button in before it plays the sound. And to make sure the sound was sort of natural and coming from where it's supposed to, I l looked up this thing about attenuation, which basically is a setting in a, in a sound type that you can make. There's a lot of different ways the sound can, I guess, propagate from the source and natural seems to be the most natural way to do it. And then of course there's this uh, little secret that I won't really share too much about, but basically it's just a four node blueprint. Pretty straightforward, it's just uh, something that when you discover it, it'll make a little sound. And this is what it sounds like. So if you hear that sound, when it seems like you haven't really done anything, it means you've discovered some kind of secret. And I won't give anything away, but uh, yeah, all I can say is try to find those secrets for yourself. So if you guys want to try this out for yourself, the link's down in the description below. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And comment down below if you get to the end of this game and find the secrets. Feel free to put up a walkthrough if you want. <laughs> if you'd like to join the channel, you can also click the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified about the next video. Now that I've completed this game, I can finally begin working on a few other projects I've had in mind. But in the meantime, stay cool. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.